Hi, Stories Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain an American psychological thriller film called, The Quiet. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Dot is a deaf and mute high school girl. Because of her disability, she hardly has any friends and is always alone. After the recent death of Dot's single father, her godmother's family has been taking care of her. Her new god sister, Nina, is not accustomed to having a sister and hates Dot for no reason. The two go to the same school where Dot is a social outcast while Nina is one of the popular girls. In the opening scene, Nina and her group of mean cheerleaders make fun of Dot's disability. The school's guidance counselor sees this and asks Dot to join her table for lunch. Dot refuses and runs to her favorite spot in the school. A bathroom stall. She feels safe and much less lonely when she is alone. Her happiness doesn't last long because Nina finds her and angrily pulls her out for the ride home. V. Nina's mother, Olivia encourages her daughter to make Dot feel at home but Nina cannot care less since it wasn't her decision to take her in, she doesn't feel responsible to do Dot any favor. In the evening, Nina's father Paul arrives home and finds Olivia passed out in the living room. She has a drinking problem and suffers from depression. Because she is on several antidepressants, Paul takes care of her and gets her to bed. On returning back to the dinner table, he notices an awkward silence between the girls. To cut the tension, he suggests they learn sign language for Dot but Nina cuts him off and walks away. The following day during lunch, Nina and her friends are gossiping as usual. Her friend Michelle brings up the topic of virginity and makes fun of Nina for being a 17-year-old virgin. She can have any guy she wants but is reserved when it comes to dating. Meanwhile, Dot comes across the school's empty music room and takes the opportunity to play the piano. She used to practice when she was still hearing, hence she plays pretty well even without hearing the music. One of the popular guys Connor hears her play and is instantly smitten by her. He stares at her for a long time before pulling away when his friend interrupts. Later, Dot meets Nina in the washroom. She tries to mind her own business but Nina forcefully makes her wear lipstick. Just when Dot thinks that this might be a bonding moment for them, she looks into the mirror and discovers that Nina purposely smeared lipstick around her lips. That night, Dot has a hard time falling asleep because she misses her father. When she comes outside to get some fresh air, she notices Nina's bedroom door open. On peeking, she sees Nina and her father Paul together in bed. The sight disturbs her to her core, making her run back to her room. The next day at dinner, Nina asks her parents for permission to spend the night at Michelle's. Paul doesn't allow her but Olivia encourages her to go. When Paul stays adamant, Nina rubs her feet up his leg under the table, trying to seduce him into letting her go. He doesn't say anything, which she takes as a yes and calls Michelle. Paul is mad at Olivia for always contradicting him. They get into a slight argument before he walks away. When Olivia is alone, Dot hands her a note, asking if she can go to the movies. Paul offers to drive her there, and Dot agrees even though she is uncomfortable. The movie hall is empty except for Nina and her squad in the middle row. Connor sees Dot sitting alone and wants to approach her but the others stop him. Nina feels somewhat bad for her but keeps on the act that she doesn't care. Dot catches her slipping when she closes her ears to see how it feels like to be deaf. But she stops upon noticing Dot staring down at her. Later at night, Dot stays awake thinking about her last encounter with Nina. Suddenly, she notices Paul coming downstairs and pretends to be asleep. He strokes her hair and calls himself sick. He seems to know what he is doing with his daughter is wrong but cannot stop after coming this far. He agreed to take Dot in. Thinking that her presence might stop him from going into Nina's room but it clearly didn't help. In the following scene, Dot is home alone, playing on the piano. Unbeknownst to her. 
Nina arrives home from school and watches her play from the doorway. Suddenly a piano wire snaps, making Dot curse out loud. Nina freezes in shock, realizing that Dot could hear them all this time. She pretends to have just gotten home and doesn't call her out of the lie. The next day at lunch, Nina sits with Dot for the first time. As Dot looks at her in confusion, Nina begins explaining little details about her private time with her father. She is clearly doing it to get a reaction out of her, but Dot remains calm. Before leaving, she also claims that she is going to use Michelle's gun to kill Paul at night. Dot still doesn't give her the attention she wants but is afraid that she might be telling the truth. To get her mind off Nina, she goes to the music room to play the piano. This time, she notices Connor staring at her through the door. She gets nervous and tries to leave but the guy stops her. He asks her out on a date to work on a lab report together. His plan fails when she shows him the already completed report. That night, the family is enjoying dinner together when Connor knocks at the door, surprising everyone. He asks Dot to come to the library to go over the lab report. She reluctantly agrees just when Michelle arrives and hands a bag to Nina. Dot remembers that Nina mentioned Michelle's gun and is nervous that she might actually be planning to kill Paul. In the following scene, Dot and Connor are at a diner. He talks to her about the report for a few seconds but eventually tells her how he feels about her. Thinking that she cannot hear him, he shares details about how he imagines making love to her. Suddenly, Dot notices an ambulance drive towards her house and assumes that Nina has done something bad. She rushes home and is relieved to see that everyone is safe. Following that, she walks towards Nina's room and hears Paul undressing her. Nina clearly sounds sick of her father's behavior, so to help her, Dot breaks a statue. The noise interrupts the commotion and Paul returns to his room. Nina is left in her bed, crying when Dot slips into the bed and holds her as she goes to sleep. In the following scene, Nina is ironing her cheer uniform while talking to Dot. She promises to kill Paul that night with the iron and burns the face off a teddy bear for effect. Dot is still in the impression that Nina doesn't know she can hear. Hence, she pretends to have not heard her plan. Later that day, Nina and Michelle cheer for the school's basketball team. Connor is in the team but is so bad that the coach sends him to the bench in the first few minutes. After the game, Connor and Dot go by the pool and spend some time together. Connor thinks that she cannot hear him and starts talking about his sex life. Suddenly, Dot takes off her top and the two make love by the pool. Meanwhile at home, Olivia suggests that Nina and Connor would make a great couple. The comment makes Paul mad as he accuses her of making her daughter dress like a slut. As they chat, Olivia takes her clothes off and invites him to bed but Connor no longer feels attracted to her. Nina returns home at midnight and is tired after cheering the entire day. Paul gives her a handbag as a gift and makes advances at her. We also notice that Olivia is awake in her bedroom. She seems to know what is going on, still, she does nothing to stop her husband, Nina asks Paul to close his eyes because she has a surprise for him. When he does as told, she approaches him with a hot iron. She is seconds away from burning his face but right then, Dot returns home and interrupts them. Nina pulls back and claims that she is pregnant. Paul is horrified at the thought of fathering his grandchild. Hence, when Nina asks him for a thousand dollars for abortion, he agrees to hand it to her the next day. Following that, Nina goes to Dot's room and confesses that she wasn't brave enough to kill him. The next day is the school dance. Nina lends Dot a dress for the night. As the girls get ready, she reveals that she lied about being pregnant. In reality, she plans to take the thousand bucks and run away to a different state. She hopes to become a stripper and make a lot of money in the new city after confessing, she applies lipstick on Dot. This time without making her look like a clown. A while later, Paul is looking for Nina when he finds tampons in her bag. 
she had said that she hasn't gotten her period in over six weeks. Which makes him believe she is lying about the pregnancy. He shows her the tampon and asks her to tell the truth. Nina tries to make up a lie but he doesn't buy it. He starts to slap her face and force himself on her. Olivia hears her daughter crying in pain but does nothing. Dot also hears the crying and screaming. She stops playing, rips out a piano wire, and walks to the bedroom. While Paul is busy, she strangles him with the wire while screaming at him to leave Nina alone. Seconds later, she stops and he falls dead to the ground. Nina is in shock. She curses Dot for killing her daddy when Olivia comes upstairs, she is more shocked about Dot knowing how to speak than her husband being dead. At the same time, Michelle rings the doorbell to pick them up for the school dance. The girls quickly change their clothes and keep the bloodied ones inside a bag. Following that, they take the bag and go to school to make it seem like everything is normal. At school, Dot dances with Connor but is too distracted to pay attention to him. She takes the backpack and hides in the bathroom stall, waiting for the party to be over. Meanwhile, Olivia is in the bedroom staring at Paul's dead body with an expressionless face, she had fallen out of love with him a long time ago. The only thing she regrets is not being brave enough to save her daughter from a monster like him. Somewhere else, Connor calls Dot's name as she is leaving the party and is shocked to see her turn around. He discovers that she can actually hear him. With the revelation, he also realizes that she knows all of his dirty secrets. He calls her a psycho for betraying him and violating his privacy. Dot tries to apologize but is shoved off. Knowing that he won't give her a chance at this moment, she focuses on more important matters. She gets Nina from the bathroom and takes her to a nearby creek. They bury the backpack with the clothes, planning to get rid of the body later. When Nina asks Dot why she pretended to be deaf all this time, she replies that she wanted to be like her father who was also deaf and mute. The girls then quickly rush home to the biggest surprise. Their house is surrounded by police and Olivia is being escorted out in handcuffs. They ask what happened to which Olivia claims that she killed Paul. She also apologizes to Nina for what she did. While the police think it is because she killed her father, Nina understands the real reason behind the apology. In the last scene, the girls watch as the police take Oliva away in the car. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.